Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. In this video, I'll be showing you how to make this 15k no game pass build. Yes, I did say no game pass even though it is two story and I will show you a hack that I used to make this. It is very similar to my 5k loft which is me using roofs to make an upper floor basically. But yes, it's another no game pass so you don't need any game passes at all. And I just want to repeat that because a lot of people were doubting the 5k loft build and I guess I'll just explain this even more more thoroughly so that way there is less confusion. So the 5k loft is my most popular build as of now and I thought I'd create another one that uses the same hack except for a different roof. So this hack I actually got from this channel which I will link down below. So they are using the exact same technique as I used for the loft except using the glass flat roof which I think is really really clever and is perfect for modern builds such as this one. So for this one my inspiration is kind of like a log cabin because we are going for that winter theme now that it's Christmas time. I really like the warm color because it really nicely complements the snow outside. I did do this as a blue aesthetic at first. I'll show you some photos on the screen right now. This is what it looked like and I thought it looked fine but then I showed my brother and he was like no that doesn't look good and I'm like okay fine so I stuck with this warm aesthetic because I feel like this is my specialty. I've mentioned before in my recent basement build that everything I create turns out pink and linen and here I am it sure turned out pink and linen because of the tint of the lights are pink. I really do love the warm vibe it gives. I guess that's all for my introduction so let's get into the video. First off, we are going to be putting down our walls. Please pause the video to get a clearer view of where I put them down because I couldn't seem to find a pattern that would help me explain better. Next, we are just taking plain stairs and putting that in the small long room. We are going to be taking our flat glass roof and we'll be dragging the length and the thickness of that all the way. We'll be taking our flat roof and we'll be covering the rest of the house that wasn't covered by the glass roof and we are dragging that up until it is $420. And lastly for the roofs, we are going to be using flat roofs again and making that about as flat as we can and putting that outside of our house. And of course, let's not forget to add the flat roof to our flat glass roof room. I'm just taking the floor and we will be putting this in our garden beds and driveway. After that, we are putting the floor on one side of our build and putting another piece of floor on the other half. And we are going to be doing this for our backyard area as well. We are taking small hedges and outlining the front and the back of our house and we are also taking minor stone walls and outlining our garden beds. We will be taking flat crown molding and putting that in the outside of our building and taking short rail molding and putting that in the exterior as well. For the inside, we will be taking that flat crown molding again and putting it in every wall that we have. For the bottom wall trims, we will be using flat tall baseboards. For our front door, we will be using French door and we will be using plain doors for every other door except the backyard door, which will be a clear sliding door. For the windows, we will be using clear windows for the living room and I was just adjusting it right here. And we are also putting that in our bedroom downstairs. For the rest of the house, we will be using horizontal windows. It should be put in the kitchen and in the bathroom. We will be adjusting this later on. For our fake windows, we are using basic large paintings and putting that on our roof. I am just adjusting them here. I just wanted them to look even. We are now out to our coloring stage. For the driveway and the backyard, we will be using concrete. And for the garden beds, we will be using dirt brown grass. For the living room, we will be using wood planks. And for the bedroom and bathroom, we will be using institutional white diagonal bordered marble. For the exterior of the house, I will be using institutional white gratless bricks. We will be continuing this in the inside of our house as well. Please follow where I put this color. For our upper wall trims, we will be coloring it linen wood and I'm just fast forwarding this bit because I felt like it was a bit too long. And that goes for the bottom wall trims of the interior as well. The bottom wall trims of the outside will be colored plastic institutional white and linen planks long. For the garden bed fence, we'll be using institutional white plastic to kind of give it that modern vibe. For our front door, we'll be using institutional white plastic and for the second color slot, it is linen wood. For all of the windows, the glass will be colored linen and the frame will be colored linen wood. The same goes for our glass door but make sure that the outer frame is institutional white. The doors on the inside will be colored institutional white and linen wood and we will just be coloring all of the walls that haven't been colored yet institutional white. 
For our roof, we will be coloring it linen and linen planks long, and for the flat roof at the front and back of the house, we will be coloring them institutional white and linen wood, and lastly, institutional white again. The middle roof will be colored the same, except the last color slot will be colored linen planks long. Our pretend upper floor will be colored diagonal bordered marble institutional white and planks long linen for the last color slots. The stairs will be colored linen wood and the paintings will have an institutional white plastic frame. The grass will be colored sage green. We are now up to the furnishing part of our video, so at the bottom you can find the type of object I am holding right above the cancel button. Also, please slow down this video if you have trouble copying the colors that I'm putting on the objects. I usually never show how I furnish my builds, and that's because I thought it would be quite easy to copy the colors. However, a lot of people have commented on my videos saying that they would really like to see how I furnish it or how I did a certain thing, and they would also like to further see what I use for the colors for certain objects. Also, if you get sick of me talking, please just mute me. <laughs> Anyways, I'm just going to take a break in instructing you what to do. I really hope you like this video. I really was excited for this. Like, it took me, I think, a whole week to finish this. It usually doesn't take me long to finish small builds. For some reason, this did because I had to do the color paletting like over again because, like I said, my brother said it looked bad. Well, I kind of agree now because I really like this color scheme that I have going on. This is a 15k build. It is pretty cheap so I did have trouble trying to stay within that limit. And by the way, with the 15k, it might not be exactly 15k. I did write down the price according to the house value which is 15,000 something and this doesn't take into account the coloring and as you can see we color a lot. So it might be 15k somewhere around there give or take, you know. The thing I'm probably most annoyed about in this whole thing is the stupid TV. I had to get the really old one and I really wanted the semi-modern one. Um, if you can get that, please get it because that old one doesn't match this aesthetic at all because we are going for that modern look. But then again, this is a 15k build so we do have to use that, you know, work with what we have. With using no game pass, it's really hard to fit in the counters and the appliances. So for the stove, for example, like it doesn't want to get too close to the fridge, which is kind of annoying, but I think it's pretty okay the way I did it here. Anyways, as you can see, the windows have totally disappeared. So we got to bring those down. I did say we had to adjust them. I wanted to put a lot of windows in this build. However, windows get quite expensive so I tried to put as much windows as I could. Also one thing that I changed about this build is that the whole backyard area is actually was actually meant to be the dining area but then I'm like I had this space going from the living room to the kitchen that was just so empty and I'm like no we can't have this here why does it look so empty and just you know for a 15k build we wanted it to look full you know like so right now I'm putting down the dining room area which was originally meant to be in the outside part and the outside part didn't exist at all so this was like a whole room but yes i'm glad i changed it for that because i really like how this looks now so i do have a cake stand for a lot of my builds well actually not a lot this is probably the second one i've done this too but basically for my last basement build i did put a nice fruit cake on top of the cake stand and it really adds to the thing with the tour a while ago you saw that i had like an apple pie there because it really adds to the decoration even though it didn't really cost me anything in build mode but yes you do have to pay for it outside the game when you're in live mode and you cook it but i really think that it adds so much to the whole aesthetic of the house but yes i did try to decorate it as much as i could for example with this drawer i did put some books on top of that because it really adds a lot in the long run you know and of course we gotta stick with our color paletting when it comes to the books for the bathroom i did do the cheapest shower because i really like that color that pattern it had what is that the checkered one i really like it and if you haven't noticed it does repeat itself throughout the whole video so when we furnish the upper part of this house I'm not going to be using my game pass because I can easily just click up and just furnish it like that but instead what I did was I toggled the roofs on and I just placed this on top as you can see there are no grids on the thing because for my loft build I did like I moved up 
a floor to color the roof, which technically you don't even need that game pass to color roofs. But people are like, you did use a game pass. Well, I guess I did, but you know, you don't have to use it. I'm challenging myself to not use the game pass and just basically try to move myself around so I can clearly see the upper part of this house. Right now, I'll just be coloring our mailbox a different color. It really adds the aesthetic even though it is what came with the plot. So it's the most basic mailbox, but it really adds to it, you know? And here I am adding a ramp so I can add this mirror decal on my fake windows. It really adds to it. Look at it. It looks real. For the inside pictures, we will just be typing the word linen and you will see a lot of linen artworks and you can choose whatever you want from these. I just chose, you know, whatever I could find that I thought would look cute. You don't have to follow what I do, but you know, I like what I did so you can copy me if you want. <laughs> that's all for this video guys i finally finished it after a week of just making it okay so thank you so much for watching i hope you subscribe if you really like this video it would really help me out a lot comment down any suggestions down below and if you do like this video please like it thank you so much for watching i'll see you later bye